everything that I'm going to be using will be linked in the description below, so feel free to check it out. So I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a DK yarn in the shades green, cream, and red, a small pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. And to make it easier, I'm going to be gluing the flowers using hot glue, but you can also use a fabric glue or even sew it by hand. We are making a beautiful rose garland. I have never seen anything like this before that I'm planning on doing, so I really hope you like it. So the first thing that we have to do, it's using the green yarn and making the leafy garland. So let's get on with that. So leave a nice tail for the weave-in make a slip knot and then chain 11. We are going to be making the very first leaf right here. So skip the very first chain and then you're going to single crochet into the next four chains. So two, three and four single crochets. And then into the next chain, you wanna get two loops of that chain. So you wanna go through the bottom loop and then you go into slip stitch and then all the next leaves that we create we are going to be slip stitching into the same chain and I'm just gonna add a stitch marker into the following chain just so that you can see what's gonna happen next once we add more leaves into that same chain so now to make the next one chain five and then you're going to be skipping the very first chain and then you're going to single crochet down into the next four chains. And then when you get to the base, all you're gonna do is to slip stitch into the same chain that you did the previous slip stitch. And now you're going to be repeating this second leaf until you have five in total. So I have two now, so I have to make three more. So here's the last one. So I'm going to slip stitch into the same chain. And now I have five leaves into this leaf here. And now you will see that the stitch where the stitch marker is, is kind of hidden at the back of the leaf and you're not going to really see that stitch. So we are going to be skipping that and we are going to slip stitch into the next four chains going up into the ones that we left remaining here at the top. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker. You will see that this little stitch is going to be kind of hidden. So we are going to be skipping that. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the next one and now slip stitch into the following three chains. So now to make the next leaf, you have to chain 21. So chain 21. And then here we are going to be making the same leaf that we did previously. So you're going to be skipping the first one and then single crochet into the next four chains. And then we are going to slip stitch into the following one, making sure that we have two loops, like so. And now we are going to be making five leaves into that same chain. So we have the first one, I have to make four more. So following the same steps as the first leaf. So as you can see, I have the five little arms and here at the back of the leaf, you can see that that chain that I have added the stitch marker before, it's hidden here at the back. So we are going to simply skip that because it's going to be quite hard to get it. And then we are going to slip stitch going up into the chain here into the next four chains. And then you should have 10 stitches in between the two leaves. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is how it's going to look like. And now you simply have to repeat the second sequence until you have the sizing of the garland you want. So the sequence is simply making the 21 chains and then making the leaf. 
and then slip stitching into the next four. So that's the sequence. So now I'm going to be making just one more with you guys, just so you can see. So chain 21. So here is the chain of 21. And now I'm going to be making the leaf here at the bottom. So here's the leaf. And now I'm going to be skipping the next chain. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the following four chains. And then you should have 10 chains remaining here at the top. So this is how it's looking like with the third leaf now completed. And now just repeat the sequence until you have the sizing that you want. I am doing a total of 26 leaves because I want to do 26 roses. So now to finish the leafy garland off, you have to simply chain one, cut off a tail of about 10 to 15 centimeters, and then fasten off. And now we have to weave in the two little ends here. So I'm going to be using my tapestry needle. I'm going to get a tiny thin one, as you can see. So now you can simply hide this end at the back of the leaf. Let's just stop for a minute and appreciate how cute it looks. I had so many ideas when making it. So we can actually use this leafy garland as an actual leafy garland, just like this, because it's just so cute. And another idea, we can actually turn this into a hanging plant. Just so we can see. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I need to know how it looks. No way. It's actually so cute. No, stop everything. Don't think twice, make it. Look at it. I need this in my life right now. So this is the next thing I'm going to be crocheting for sure. <laughs> so now you have to choose the flowers you wanna to do to add to the garland. I've decided to make roses. So these tiny little roses in cream and red. But you can also do any other flower that you think is going to go with this leafy garland. And you can also do them in any other color you want. You can do them all colorful, one color as well. I've decided to do two colors. So leave a nice tail for the weave-in. And then make a slip knot. And then chain 16. So once you have your chain of 16, skip the very first two chains and then into the following one, into the same chain, work five double crochets. And then once you have your five double crochets, you go into a slip stitch into the next chain. And now you're going to be skipping the next chain and then into the following one, work five double crochets into the same chain. And then slip stitch into the following chain. And now repeat the second sequence all the way down. So you're going to be skipping one chain and then work five double crochets into the next chain and then slip stitch into the following one. And now repeat the same steps until you get to the end. So when you get at the end, you will have one chain left. So just follow the pattern. So you're going to slip stitch into the last chain. And now we can chain one. We can cut off a tail just to weave in. And now we can fasten off. And what I like to do here is just to make a double knot 
If you are going to be sewing by hand, then you can actually use these two ends here. I'm going to be gluing it, so I'm going to weave in these two at the back of my flower. So this is how it looks like. So we have five petals in total, as you can see. And now we can glue this little row here into a rose. So choose one of the ends. I'm gonna do it here. And then you wanna place a little bit of glue into this first petal. And then you're going to be folding it and gluing that in place. So I found it better to just apply a tiny little bit of glue to the little spaces in the posts that I have at the bottom here of the row. And then just glue it right at the bottom here, the base around, and that gave a better looking rose. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to be placing a little bit of glue, just like this, and then I'm just gonna glue it around the base. So apply a little bit of glue, and then wrap it around and glue it in place. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Once you get into the last petal, just apply some glue right at the end here and then just glue that in place. And this is how it looks like. So this is how we are going to be making all of the roses and now you can make as many as you need to go with your garland. So I made 26 leaves, so I need to make 26 roses. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have one completed. Now I have to make 25 more. So let's go. <laughs> Alexa, resume. So now we have the leafy garland and all of the roses completed and now the last step is to glue all the roses in the garland. So let's do it. So first you want to make sure that all the leaves are not twisted and then I'm going to start from the beginning from the first one here. So I'm going to open the leaf and then choose the first rose and then all we have to do is to apply glue to the rose and into the leaf like so. If you want, you can also glue the little leaves in place like this. So here's the very first one and I just think it's the most adorable thing ever. And now I'm going to be repeating the same steps until I have glued all of the roses in place. I don't think we are ready for this. <laughs> I am speechless. I cannot believe that I actually made this. <laughs> I 
had a lot of fun making this garland and it turned out so stunning i love it let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you end up making one don't forget to tag me so i can see your take on it and the colors you're going to be choosing for your flowers and i'm so happy that i did this video just in time for valentine's day for galentine's day and for mother's day so imagine you can gift one of these to your friends if they love flowers or roses they will love it or for your mother especially if they love flowers like me i would love getting this as a gift i would be so happy like i am right now <laughs> that i made it so if you have enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Ta -da! love it <laughs> chiki 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 yeah. I can crochet myself roses, crochet things you don't understand. <laughs>